Stitchers, this is Abby again, and this is part three of our stitch sketch tutorial. Um, in this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to move objects and then also how to uh, edit the, the size of your workspace. So as you can see here, um, I've zoomed out a little bit from where we ended uh, tutorial number two. Um, the way you zoom in and out again is by using that two finger pinch on your screen. Um, so again, you know, to go in and out, I wish you guys could see my fingers, but you just pinch in and out and, and that will, um, zoom for you and then also move where you'd like to see. So I've got us moved out a little bit here. So we have some space to work. Generally, when I start my, uh, stitch people, I start working on them in the top left corner. It's just preference. Um, you could obviously start anywhere in your workspace that you'd like. Uh, that just happens to be how I do it. So in order to move an object, what we want to do is down in the bottom left, um, currently highlighted in blue, you see the dashed box. Um, if yours isn't highlighted in blue, you're going to have to click it twice to get this menu. So we get this menu and we see select all, deselect, and then a number of options at the bottom. And to be uh, totally honest with you, I only know how to use the very left dashed box. I haven't um, really dug into the other options. So for now, we're just going to work with that far left dashed box. So we select that. And then what that does is that allows us to select um, and highlight objects on our screen. So I'm going to take my stylus or Apple Pencil, whatever you're using, and I'm going to highlight what I want to move. So I'm going to move my person's head, I guess, as you can call it. Um, I think I have Frankenstein going on there. So we select that. Now what we want to do next to move is in the very bottom right corner, you'll see a dashed box that's shaded in with a little pointer arrow on it. Select that. I'm going to press it again so you see it flash. Um, I can't show my cursor. I haven't found a program to do that yet. So I'm going to press that again. So now what I can do is take my stylus and I can move this object anywhere that I'd like to move it on my workspace. Once I have it placed where I want it to go, then in the top right, you'll see the dashed box with the green check mark. Once we press that, that will position our item right where we want it and it'll lock it into place. And again, another suggestion is let's save. We made quite a change, so we wanna make sure that we save that just in case anything happens. So, Say you just want to move part of your design. We're going to select part of our design. We're going to go to the bottom right, hit the move button, and we're going to move that right over. Okay, so then again, we go to the top right and we hit our dash box with the green check mark and we've locked it into place. If you decide, no, I don't really like how that looks right there, then Let's go to the very top menu bar and hit our undo button, the, the second arrow from the right, and it'll put it right back where it began. Um, so that's how you can move an object. Now, say you've drawn you know, a heart and you're gonna want um, more than one heart on your page. So let's, I'm just gonna quickly draw a heart here don't make fun of my artistic skills. Just doing it quickly. So we have a heart here. So what we're gonna do is say we're gonna want like a few hearts because we're doing a Valentine's Day design. So we go to our bottom left, our dashed box. I'm gonna click that twice to get our menu. We're gonna hit the dashed box. We're gonna highlight our heart. And now, since we're not moving, since we want to copy, what we're going to do is down in the bottom right, you see the scissors and then two pieces of paper. In order to copy, you're going to hit that two pieces of paper. So we're going to hit that, and that gives us a copy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to press in our workspace where we want it to go, and we're going to go back to the bottom right, and we're going to hit the clipboard. And that gives us our shape, a copy of our shape. So we just move that wherever we need it to go. 
and then we go to the top right again where the dashed box with the check mark and we lock it into place and again if you don't like where you've placed it you always have the undo arrow at the very top menu and you can undo that um, when you do undo that you know you still want to place your shape somewhere what you do is you go back down to the bottom right and you can hit your clipboard again and it'll give you another one of your copied shapes you put that where you'd like it top right dash box with a check mark lock it into place again we've made some significant changes to our pattern so let's go ahead and save all right so we've saved so now we've got our design and say we we want to add some text and we're thinking okay I don't think this this is wide enough this workspace ADA is wide enough for the text that I need and we want to edit that what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up in the top menu and we're gonna hit the piece of paper with the settings um, uh, gear we hit that and then we go to resize canvas okay I currently have it 65 by 65 which makes it approximately eight inches by eight inches. If we wanna make it a little bit wider, we make this number 100, and it's not cooperating with me, there we go. Make this number 100, and then this, um, the anchor is where it's going to add the, the space. So if you wanna add it to the bottom, the top, the right, the left, whatever. So we're going to see what happens when we add it right to the center. I haven't tried this one before, so bear with me. So click the center, click OK. All right. So what it looks like is it did add that width just to the outsides, which is what I'd prefer. So I'd say when adding your ADA space, use that center option um, so that uh, it adds it evenly around your whole project. Um, you can play around with these different arrow buttons to kind of see how else it will add space to your design um, and just see what works best for you. But this is just kind of a starting point. So again, we've made a significant change, so we're going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. 